to just extend a special uh, welcome to the folks that are here with the Huntsman uh, Recognition Celebration. And you may think you're visiting, but when you came through those doors this morning, you're family. Okay, you're family. And that's why I was saying, I just want to see those smiles. Let me see some smiles. I'm going to go roll over here. I'm looking at her. She'll do it. Smile. I want to see that. You know why? Because that's making your body ready and fixing to receive something. Your body says, hmm, something good is just about ready to happen. You know, you smile when you look at that food getting ready for the table. You smile when it's getting ready for Christmas. You just smile. Okay, we're fixing to be in the presence of the Lord. So we can just smile and be ready. Simply Jesus. No gimmicks, no giveaways, just simply Jesus. That's what people need. We need you to come up to the front. Come on up. Come on. Clap it up for Larry and Michelle. Yeah. Larry was debating on if he was going to come, but then he just realized that was just be really awkward. So, come on up. So I want to, he, he doesn't know this, but Larry started a program called the Monarchs and him and Michelle, and they did that for how long? Seven for seven years. And so uh, his sons, or this is their last year playing AAU. And so I just wanted Larry to share a little bit about the program that he had. And I wanted to celebrate that as well, because we, you were doing exactly the same thing I'm doing as a ministry using basketball. And so I didn't want this opportunity to go by without us loving on YouTube, brother. So just real quick. <laughs> And, and they could sing something. They very could. Can you start that track I told you? No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. They really do sing now, and they're awesome. Well, basically, you know, uh, we just started it because we felt like we had an obligation for ministry in the Springfield area. Um, we was able to touch a lot of young lives, and, you know, we're still in contact with a lot of the kids, um, you know, but it was a great opportunity. Um, you know, we were thankful for it, but when it was time to move on, we're happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen this situation multiple times, and AAU to some people is considered an extracurricular sport. People don't take it serious unless you have a strong culture. And so one of the things that Pastor Dan already knows that you guys may not know is Gavin drives, how far do you drive from, from your house to practice in Springfield? Hour. One hour, one way, to go to practice, in a practice that he physically can't participate in. Right, he gets to come and he gets to come and support his team, right? He gets to come, come and cheer, cheer, the, cheer these guys on, and his mom and dad who's back there, Randy, Lindsay, right? Um, yeah, clap it up. But they've expressed to me that Gavin also wants to attend the tournaments. Now, if you know anything about AAU, we're not playing near Kenton. I mean, we're going to Columbus, we're going to Louisville, Indiana. I mean, we're traveling to these different places. And Gavin has made a commitment to still be a part of the culture and a part of the team. And to me, outside of basketball, which one of our hashtags is bigger than basketball, we know our family's going through it and everybody else in here at some point has been through some form of adversity, right? So the one thing that we are guaranteed is the Bible talks about how we're gonna face trials and different tribulations. And Gavin is living out 
what's going to happen in life. And that is, as much as we would love to believe that life is just going to be sunny and 80 every day, it's not. And for him to display the character that he's displaying, we, we know. I mean, it's sad, it's disappointing, it's frustrating. And I'm sure sometimes it creates a little level of anger, resentment, all those different challenges that he has to have. And yet, if you watch him up here, if you watch him, he never carries that. I mean, I, I have kids that just because they don't start, they're sitting on the bench sulking, complaining. I get emails from parents. And I got a kid here that knows right now that those opportunities aren't there. And not only did he come up here when I asked him to come up here, but he's always has a great attitude. And so um, our core values are God, God family, toughness. toughness, and hard work. And one of the things that he displays is toughness. And that's what Pastor Dan was going with this. There's an outward toughness physical. Right? We've got our spiritual side of us. right? And the one thing that he does is he's practicing. Even though it's not in a way that we want to learn it, he's practicing right, spiritual toughness. right? He's, he's, he's practicing the ability of family, which now I have to truly be for my other guys. And this is not a bad thing, but... I can tell you right now, 99% of the people in my program aren't doing what he's doing. And that's not a bash, I'm just saying that's just, a, like, like am I really going to travel and know I'm not going to play? I'm just being honest, right? And I, You're not weird if you don't, but for him to make that decision sets the tone for our entire program. Put it on his shoulders, he can bear it, he'll carry it. Let's go. Passionate, driven, focused, determined, set on fire, heart of a lion, actions, they speak so much loud. I bring the heat like Wade and them boys. I'm a tiger in these words, always wanted to be.